King. The name King came up. Uh, it was just uh, the first and only name that we all agreed upon. And um, over time, we realized it. We realized that we. It was something that spoke about uh, control and who's in charge. And we just kind of wanted to be in charge of our own musical and creative kingdom. So and we stuck with it. Yeah, it's been really fitting to. You know, watch how we developed. We just decided to make this EP on our own. We, we put everything together by ourselves and, you know, really only listen to our own instincts and it really is like being the king of your own kingdom. I'd say our sound is soul. It's a soul sound. Yeah, it's futuristic, authentic. Yes. It's a little bit difficult to say what's unique about our harmony because, I mean, to us, it's just what we do. It's the most natural thing to us. Um, if we're all sitting in a room and one of us is singing, I think we're all kind of hearing parts. So that's one of the first things that comes. Um, I've been playing piano since I was like two. Um, you know, for my whole life, listening to all different kinds of music. Uh, just playing by ear since I was a little girl. Um, went to school for music, but yeah, I, I wanted to study composition, which you know I'm doing now, and film scoring and stuff like that. But, I think all the different experiences of my life, a lot of you know, my background comes from jazz and just Stevie Wonder, I call him my like longest piano teacher, you know, like I've been listening to him for forever, so as far as my musical background, I really only sang with Paris so she would come home, you know, from college and we just sit and kind of write and sing at the piano and singing with Anita kind of brought a whole different element, but I've never had any classical training like both of them have just love to sing. I've always loved music, so being with both of them is just a dream come true because they are my musical counterparts. Um, I I guess I was always singing since I was a little kid, and um, uh, my mother introduced me to all her oldies and records and stuff. Um, she was always playing that around the house, and I guess that's how it kind of stuck with me and I think I got more serious about songwriting around 18 and that's when I went to Berkeley College of Music and met Paris. So. Um, it's definitely the organic nature of our group that, that you know keeps us going. It's not any particular technical training or anything I could even really lay a finger on to like oh I learned this here I learned this there but when we get together as a group it's just the most organic and, you know, real thing to us. It's, I don't even know, it's, it's hard to describe because it's almost like not even coming from, what I'm producing is not even really just coming from me. And so it, it's just, you can tell it's like a lifetime of experiences and listening to all different kinds of music, but it's, it's divine almost. Yeah. The producers I look up to the most, uh, Stevie Wonder, Quincy Jones, um, Songwriting wise, I love Joni Mitchell. There's so many different influences. Miles Davis, um, especially um, Steely Dan, you know. Um, but, you know, just a wide and varied list. But I think that most of the people that I look up to, they have in common that you can just hear they're very unique in their own right. Favorite artist Duke Ellington, Miles Davis. Steely Dan. <laughs> uh, my favorite three albums are probably The Levin's Trio with Symphony Orchestra, um, Stevie Wonder's Music of Mind, and Joni Mitchell's Blue. Um, the artist that I like would probably be Prince, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, and there's a woman, Brenda Russell, that I look up to a lot. So. <laughs> we look forward to bringing more music to you guys. And for all the people who loved our EP, we can't wait to share an LP and just really just <laughs> share music. Mm -hmm. It feels right, go with it. Like you really have to follow your heart. Um, 
that's all we can, you know, I feel like that's all I can say. That's exactly what we did. Was, there were no tricks. There was, everybody always asks, how did you do it? And it's, we really just put a lot of hard work into it. I think if anybody invests a lot of time and um, passion into what they do, great things happen. Hi, we're King, and you're watching Parlor TV.